We need to fight for our relationships. You know, a divided nation is a tragedy. But a divided church is a travesty. It's actually anti-Christ. It, it totally misrepresents Jesus when we are contending and fighting one another. And I realize we have our different perspectives and opinions and our upbringings. And, but I'm just telling you, friends, we've got to work hard at our relationships. We have to. It's interesting how Paul says to Timothy, I love it. I was going to take it and try and read it to us. In First Timothy, he tells, says to them, he says this. He says, treat older men like fathers. Treat younger men like brothers. Treat older women like mothers and treat younger women like sisters with absolute purity. Can you imagine if we did that? You see, what happens is because, and I, there's older guys in this room, older people on my team, and my job as a younger man is to treat an older man as a father. But because I treat them as a father, they're not to treat me as son, they're to treat me as brother. Are you hearing this? Because I want to honor you as a father, I'm not now your son and you start telling me what to do. I'm your brother and I'm honoring you as a father. Same as women. Please hear this, ladies, because when younger women want to treat you as a mother, automatically you want to be their mother. Your job is to treat them as a sister with absolute purity. If we just took those truths and began to live them out again in the church, it, it would change the dynamic of our nation. If we're friends, we can disappear. If we're family, we have to work it out. 